Hi there, Fred, FR5ED. The five is silent here with a beer review. Today we're gonna taste a Beta Giacomo IPA. I don't believe I've, uh, I've had this a long time ago, many months ago. Don't think I did a review on it, so I'm doing this one. Anyway, this is, uh, it's from um, Abita Brewing, and they uh, have this at a 6.5% ABV. Here's some information on it. On Rate Beer, after um, 619 reviews, it scores a 65 overall and a 33 in style. Not great. On Beer Advocate, uh, after 492 reviews, it scores a 79. So, um, you know, not in the top echelon of IPAs as far as the two review sites have it. So we'll have to check it out for ourselves. So let's get it open. There was some verbiage there on on rate beer. In fact, let me check it out, the commercial description. The newest Abita brew takes its name and inspiration from the Mardi Gras Indians of New Orleans. I did not know that, and I lived in New Orleans for two years when I was a kid. Looking for Indians on Mardi Gras Day is a tradition for many New Orleans families. We did that. A cultural phenomenon familiar to residents of the Crescent City, the Mardi Gras Indians are not well known to outsiders, and Abita is proud to help share their story with the world. I just didn't know they, they drank IPAs. Anyway, let's, uh, let's give this a pour, and then a smell, and then a taste, and then a wrap up. All right, nice looking, pretty clear. Really clear, it's uh, definitely a nice amber honey color, reddish amber, uh, one finger head, fairly dense, holding in there. Hmm. Again, I don't know my hops yet. I, there's no excuse after a year here. I should have been studying more. Um, I do know that the real citrusy hops, Amarillo, Centennial, Simcoe, and uh, Citra, are, are the four, at least what I read recently, are, are four really citrusy hops You know that really define West Coast American style IPAs. Anyway, here I'm smelling some of the malt, sweet malt coming through, and there's some pineapple. There's something, it's not, a, it's not an off smell, it's not bad, it's just, it may, and it may be from the malts. Bready, it's definitely a bready smell, but there's something else there. And of course the aromas start to fade, they're, you know, the vol they're volatiles and they, they start to disappear. wish I could define it. Someday I'll be able to define what that different smell is in there, but it doesn't smell bad, it's just it's an unidentified aroma for me. So anyway, let's give it a taste. Interesting. Um, very dry, not sweet. Medium mouthfeel. The taste bready, lemongrassy, um, and as I said, very dry. There's no real sweetness at all. And something almost, oh, what's the, what am I looking for? Almost a acetone type of a, I'm making, that sounds negative and, and it's just an unfamiliar taste for me. In fact, that might be the aroma I'm getting too. It's almost like an acetone and a, and a taste. I don't find it objectionable. I don't find it delightful. I don't think I would get this again if it always tastes like this. Um, but that's a different, a different, uh, type of aroma and taste for me. And don't ask me how I know how acetone tastes. It's the aroma that's adding that flavor. So anyway, you know, it, it didn't rate very highly and I certainly wouldn't have rated it any higher than that at all, if that. Uh, but give it a try yourself, see if you like it. Abita Giacomo IPA. This is Fred, FR5ED, over and out.